What's poppin' fight fans? Welcome to Elite Boxing Circle. I am your host, DK the King. Let's see what the boxing industry has in store for us today. Well, Deontay Wilder sends a tweet to Tyson Fury. In my opinion, basically begging for another fight. Now, there's been a lot of controversy around Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury and their last fight. I want to say it's controversy around the first fight after the aftermath of the last fight that they had. And the controversy is that everyone on YouTube and the internet believed that Deontay Wilder was cheated in his fight in the second fight with Tyson Fury. And they believe he was cheated in the first fight because they believe that the count ran too long on Tyson Fury after that knockdown. But, hey, they let that slide. It was a draw. Now we come into the second fight, and Deontay Wilder is completely demolished by Tyson Fury. So... In the aftermath of being demolished by Tyson Fury, we get a a storm of excuses, accusations, claims that are made by Deontay Wilder that Tyson Fury could have possibly, maybe, had something in his glove. Um, Deontay Wilder also has said, And we spoke about this in the previous video that he felt like the referee was not doing his proper job. He felt like his trainer was working for Tyson Fury and conspiring to poison his water by muscle relaxer. So it's a lot of accusations. And these are actual accounts of Deontay Wilder actually speaking. Now, if you felt like this guy has cheated you, I don't understand why would you want to get back in the ring with this guy? You know, Tyson Fury, after all the accusations, Tyson Fury has said that he has never given Deontay Wilder another fight. Never, never, ever again. She's never getting another shot at Tyson Fury. And... I don't know what the contract says, so we're not going to say, oh, the contract expired or it didn't expire. That doesn't matter. What matters is, is there is no proof that Tyson Fury cheated. There's no proof that Deontay Wilder coach was conspiring against him. And there's no proof that Any of this shit is valid. So when you have guys on the internet that make videos that's defending the honor of Deontay Wilder when there's no proof that any of this shit is true. So if it's not no proof, why are we eating it up as in such in this manner? But the thing is, If it was true, why would Deontay Wilder be begging for another fight? You can read the tweet that's on the screen. These are his words. Now, understand something. You claim that you didn't have to give Tyson Fury a shot. Come on, man. This is boxing. Who else would you going to fight? Who else? Understand, you had so many people running from me, which you did. But who else were you going to fight? Yeah, I mean, Anthony Joshua could have gave Tyson Fury a shot. You're you're looking at, you gave him a shot. After the, the, the draw, you, after the draw, okay, you, let's just say you gave him the shot the first fight. You gave him a shot. Whoop-de-doo. But I mean, shit, if you didn't give him a shot, who who else would you have fought? 
this is the question. You grab somebody that has some substance of a name that had beat somebody. You need we understand this is the same thing with Terrence Crawford. The, the thing he is trying to achieve, he is trying to have a fight with an opponent that has a name that is maybe the fan could be the fan favorite that you that we are not going to look at you like you're going to totally dominate the fight. You need these type of fights. So, with that being said, Deontay Wilder, you needed Tyson Fury. You needed him. He needed you as well. It goes hand in hand, but understand. If you wanted a third fight, when I said y'all both needed each other, at that point you needed to keep your mouth closed. If you wanted a third fight. To redeem yourself because there's no point in making all these actual accusations if you want to have another fight with this man. Why would you make these? Fuck all the accusations. Even if you felt that way, you should have kept your mouth closed and went and waited till your time came to where you could get in the ring and abuse him the way he abused you. This is facts. But no, you wanted to cry. You sat back. You listened to all these YouTubers and they fucking you up. Yeah, you know I mean, let me. Uh, and, and, and on the real, I I I get these YouTubers. Uh, uh I give them their credit because I, I appreciate them even grabbing some of the interviews and even pulling out Deontay Wilder out of his home or out of, out of his comfort zone to to even speak. But the goddamn thing is. You're talking crazy. They making you look stupid. Period. Point blank. You look crazy as fuck. And now you are sending a message to Tyson. Warning. Another a third fight. You want a third fight. I gave you two shots when I didn't have to. Uh... Correction, you gave him one shot when you didn't have to. The second time, that second fight, you had to give him that shot. You had to give him that That He had to give you that shot too because, understand, it was a draw. And you know you looked it bad in that fight. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it was a draw after you got the knockdown in the 12th round. That means he was winning. If you didn't get that knockdown, you wouldn't have been a draw. You would have lost. So, Tyson Fury really... Beat you up the first fight, in my opinion. The second fight destroyed. I mean, absolutely destroyed Deontay Wilder. So, why would we want to see a third fight? But hey, it's Deontay Wilder. We know that Deontay Wilder has a mean right hand that can knock somebody out cold if he can land it. Flush. But he did land a flush on Tyson Fury and he ain't knock him out cold. So I don't know if it's even effective against Tyson Fury. But hey, if you want to give it another go, I ain't mad at it. I I I applaud fighters. I think all fighters, if you got a good fight, if it's a good if it's a good competition fight, it needs to go three times. I believe Lamachenko and uh Teofimo Lopez should go three times. Shit, that was a good ass fight, even though Lamachinko didn't throw no punches the first six rounds. Ain't that about a bitch? But back to Deontay Wilder. Yo, champ. All the fans of Deontay Wilder, you need to talk to him. Send him some love. Because I'm telling you. It's going to take a lot for Tyson Fury to get back in that ring. And even if he get back in the ring, I don't think Deontay has what it takes to, to, to overcome that challenge. That's just my opinion. You know, but hey, if you're going to beg for the fight, beg for that motherfucker shit. I wouldn't mind seeing it. I wouldn't mind seeing it. I wouldn't mind. You know, I don't believe that Deontay Wilder is going to win, though. 
and I'm saying it loud and clear here. I do not believe Tyson Fury. I mean, let me. I do not believe Deontay Wilder can beat Tyson Fury. Just don't believe it. You got to prove me wrong. So thank you for tuning in to the EBC. If you like what you heard today, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you got your own opinion, hit me in the comment section. Y'all already know what it is. One.